What's going on everybody? Steve Pulaski back with another video review. The third video review in a day. Just got done pulling a triple header at the movies today. That's dedication. Talking about Denise Denobi's Unforgettable, okay? Now, is, now, spoiler alert, is it unforgettable? No. Um, another Fatal Attraction type movie. If you've seen Obsessed, if you've seen When the Bow Breaks, if you've seen The Perfect Guy... You've seen them all. There's really nothing new here. You go to these for the trashiness. You go to these for, like, the outlandish acting. And I think the most devastating part about Unforgettable is that it doesn't have that. It doesn't have, like, that trashy, you know, sort of lightly self-aware, you know, notion that this has been done before. It tries to do this premise seriously. Uh, the only difference is now is that Jeff Stoltz, who is really good in, um, I hope they serve beer in hell, and Rosario Dawson are the couple, uh, and Katherine Heigl is the one, is the ex-wife who's trying to get back into the, the marriage and kind of weasel her way back in, uh, trying to, you know, f weasel Rosio, uh, Rosario Dawson's star stalker ex-boyfriend back into the picture through by creating a fake Facebook account. It's like such reality TV like drama that you wish it was taken not, you wish it wasn't taken as seriously as it is and that's unfortunate. Um but there's moments of this that are okay. I will say that I think Katherine Heigl really is pretty good here. I think that like as long as she doesn't have to like get into like that horribly uh demonstrative like overly uh, angry tone of voice where she gets all up in Rosario Dawson's face at times. Uh, she's the best when she's very subdued. She's like cutting the, you know, cutting the food very slowly. Or she's brushing her daughter's hair like evenly and quick and even strokes. And that is the best, that is the best part of the movie because Katherine Heigl really can act. If you give Katherine Heigl less, she will do more at least in this movie. It's when you give these actors too much emotion, like too much flagrant emotion, then it becomes soapy, then it becomes corny, then it just becomes, you know, the, the exact opposite of what you're trying to achieve. Um, other than that, there's not a ton to say about Unforgettable. I'd kind of like to think, just because I mentioned with Jeff Stoltz being in, um, I hope they serve beer in hell, I'd like to think, because in that movie his character was going to get married and they were going on a bachelor party, I'd like to think this is what happened after the marriage. I'd like to think of it as nothing else besides a spiritual sequel to I Hope They Serve Beer in Hell. And that's about it. For the mostly forgettable, unforgettable, I give it two out of four stars, a D plus on Influx Magazine's grade. I'm Steve Plaskin. You can get all my film reviews on Steve the Movie Man uh, dot proboards dot com and Influx Magazine dot com. Read my written review of Unforgettable. Link below. Thank you guys for watching, for subscribing. Thanks for keeping up with me on a crazy day. I'm not going to be able to review anything tomorrow, Saturday, the, April 22nd, or Sunday, April 23rd. So I wanted to make sure I saw everything that I needed to see, or at least the stuff I wanted to see. Next week, I'm seeing The Circle, Slight, and maybe just maybe the lost city of z see you next week guys thank you all for watching